You have greatness in you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. I don't even know you, but I'm telling you what I know from my own experience. And greatness, ladies and gentlemen, greatness, it's a choice. It's not your destiny. Most people never discover their greatness. Most people, ladies and gentlemen, go to their graves living a life of mediocrity. One day, you're gonna die. And that's not me being negative. That's the cold, hard truth. So I want you to face that reality right now. And I want you to take a good look at your life right now as it is. If you died tomorrow, how would you look back on your life? Would you be proud to be buried? Or would you feel like your life was incomplete? Elite. So looking at death straight in the face right now will set you free. What are the things you didn't do that you wanted to? Did you want to start a business? Did you want to start a charity? What aspirations did you have as a child that fell by the wayside because you got caught up in that routine? Because you told yourself that you had bills or that you told yourself that you're not good enough or because you didn't want to utilize your time effectively. You chose sleeping 10 hours. You chose the safety net. You stayed in your routine and you didn't want to bust out of that comfort zone. If you chase your passion, if you, listen to me, I know what I was born to do. If you told me right now, how can you feel $5 million, ET, but you can never do another TGIM. You can never go into another school. You can never go to another college. You can never motivate anybody for the rest of your life. No more motivation, no more inspiration. I would tell you, keep your $5 million. Why? Because this is what I was born to do. And what I've discovered, that you got to pass up on good to get to great. And one day, you're going to be in a nursing home. And the biggest thing that you're going to hope for is that there's someone standing right there beside you. So when you're on your deathbed, how will your legacy ripple? Are you going to make a big splash? Or are you going to be a tiny little pebble in the pond? How many people will show up to that funeral of yours? How many people did you positively impact that your time expiring will make them cry because you're not here anymore to have an effect on them? I want you to place yourself in the eyes of death because death is going to set you free. How are you going to leave this earth? Will you be remembered? How will you be remembered? Your life is not done yet. So now is the time to go after everything you want. Time will expire one day. So you got to beat the clock. People in my life right now, are they contributing to my growth and development? Are they making me a better person? What I'm doing right now, is it nourishing me? Does it empower me? Is it giving me what I need out of my life right now? Is it challenging to me? Is it making me stretch mentally and emotionally and spiritually? Is it getting the best out of me? See, this is the only life you've got. So you don't want to squander it doing something you don't want to do, feeling you can't do any better. You can do better. You should do better. You deserve to do better. You're entitled to that. That is your right to do better. If you were to die tomorrow, answer that question truthfully. What would you change? And you need to go change it now.